Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Kaylin's English podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners. I'm here to help you practice your listening skills. I'm Kaylin, a professional English teacher on Italki. I hope everyone is doing well today. This episode is going to cover cleaning. It is important to keep your living environment clean and tidy. So, this episode, you will hear various vocabulary that relates to cleaning the rooms in a home. Whether you live in a house, mansion, apartment, or flat, this episode will allow you to explain some common household chores. I am going to be doing a deep clean of my apartment soon as I am moving out. Deep clean does not have a standard definition, but cleaning companies often use this term to mean specific services and actions. For example, deep clean an oven. Which means to remove all of the grease, burned food, other debris inside the oven, and any smell, and to disinfect it. To disinfect means to kill 99.999% of pathogens. <laughs> Disinfectants kill viruses and other things that are written on their labels. You can also sanitize surfaces, especially ones in your kitchen and bathroom. Sanitize means to reduce microorganisms by 99.9% in 30 seconds or less. Another term that you may hear or read is antibacterial, which is a substance that is able to kill or slow the growth of bacteria. Disinfectants, sanitize, and antibacterial are popular words since last year, but they should be things that we do on a regular basis to keep our environment clean. When looking through the household cleaning products in a store, you might have come across all purpose cleaners. All purpose cleaners are a powder or liquid detergent for general household cleaning. They usually contain antibacterial properties, and they do what they say clean all different types of surfaces. Bleach is another common cleaning product, and I must make you aware that it stains things easily. Bleach helps whiten, brighten, and remove stains. I always wear gloves when using bleach as it can get on my hands, then I can stain my clothes with it. When I clean, I try to use as much natural cleaning products as possible. As they are better for the environment and my sensitive skin. If you need to clean a tiled, wood, or laminate floor, then you may consider mopping it. To mop means to clean or soak up liquid from something by wiping. Usually, you use a mop, which is a long-handled tool that has an absorbent end, and you usually need a bucket as well to use it. You can also sweep a floor by using a broom and a dustpan. This is for dry things like dirt and crumbs. You can also vacuum, which is a motorized tool that sucks up hair, dirt, cobwebs, dust, and other things. Vacuums are a great tool that can clean floors, sofas, curtains, and more. To remove light particles suspended in air and on surfaces is to dust. You can use a fine mist dusting product, or microfiber cloths, or a feather duster to remove dust. Window or glass cleaning involves using either squeegees, paper towels, or newspapers. Glass cleaning products typically contain vinegar, which reduces the risk of streaks and makes windows and mirrors sparkly clean. Let's lastly talk about doing laundry. Laundry detergent is the most common thing used to clean clothes, which can be a liquid, powder, or a pod. To make the clothes soft, you can use fabric softener. You can also buy a product that reduces lint and also eliminates bacteria. You can do your laundry by hand or by using a washing machine. To dry, you can hang the clothes on a line or use the dryer. I think that is enough about cleaning for now. I hope you have gained more vocabulary and can better explain what you need to do when you clean. Here are some of the vocabulary once more: deep clean, disinfect, sanitize, antibacterial. All-purpose cleaner, bleach, mop, dust, sweep, vacuum, laundry, washing machine, and dryer. Now, if you could please excuse me, I need to deep clean my oven. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like more content, then please subscribe to this podcast. You can also support me on Patreon. Find me by typing in Kaylin Teacher. On Patreon, you can gain early access to the podcast and transcriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kaylin underscore Teacher. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time, bye.